I messed up. A few weeks ago, it was hotter than I'll get outside. And I was taking my bikini top off. Going to put the Forest Service hard top on. Did a 12-minute video and didn't turn my microphone on. So I just let it sit. But people keep asking about different tops for these trucks. So I'm just going to talk over what I did. I'm going to do commentary on what I'm doing. I have a 1959 CJ5 bikini top on. I'm holding right now the stock Kaiser Jeep soft top side panel. The bows that go across the top are... I have the stock bows on my truck right now. Those brackets, uh, the, the, your shoulder above the side of the cab, I made those. But those are the stock crossbows. And the CJ5 top fits excellent to the footman loops. Here looking up, you can see a stock, well, that's a stock soft top frame that the Forest Service riveted a whole bunch of steel to in a back window. That's how my truck came. There was 148 rivets holding that soft, that hard top to my truck. I drilled every single one of those suckers out and welded them closed. Um, <clears throat> you can see those rivets right there. And you can see my homemade bracket. And you can see where the tie downs for the CJ5 bikini top go to the footman loop to hold the factory uh, canvas top on. So I'm going to do a day. So I'm going to pull off the bikini top and install my hardtop. It is not the factory Kaiser Jeep hardtop. It is my hardtop, which came with the truck from the Forest Service. I have seen one factory, actually I've seen two factory hardtops. I've only seen one for sale. And at the time, it was, the asking price was almost twice what my truck was worth at the time, I thought. Uh, I've not seen any since then for sale or anywhere else. All right. So the 715 made by Kaiser Jeep, right as they're finishing up production of the M38A1, the, the military version of the CJ5. And they also had the contract for the uh, M151 Mutt. So there's a lot of parts that kind of carry over. The windshield uh, mount for the soft top is one of them. Now, what I'm doing here in the video, I'm getting in the truck to back it up. So, since you can't hear it, it goes chug, 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 clank, 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 chug, 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 clank, 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 chug, 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 clank, clank, clank. You get the idea. That's what it's doing. Chug, oh, more chug, 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 clank, 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 chug, 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 clank, 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 rattle, 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 clank, clank, chug, 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 chug. All right. So, back in the truck in. The rail that all Jeeps have to hold a soft top are on the top above the window, above the windshield. This one is just the open U down. I think all CJ5 or 6 tops, bikini tops, up until 1971 will work. I know my CJ5 top that I bought from Best Stop uh, for the earliest, the oldest listing they have. Now, you might have seen in the video a few minutes ago, it's a little bit short. A CJ7 one would be great, but I don't think they make them long enough. So I did CJ5. I'm trying to line up exactly right so I don't hit the Miata, and I can put the top on. Now, the factory... Well, I'm not sure what I'm talking about here. The factory soft top frames on the sides they bolt to the cab behind the driver's shoulder and the passenger shoulder and then they have one bolt that goes into the windshield frame so does my top because it's just a factory soft top with uh forest service metal added to it there was a place in dallas called wade something or another that converted hundreds of these things and most of the trucks in this area have that. I think I'm talking about the mount. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the similarities. The little perches that go above the windshield wiper arms are also windshield stands. Those are the same as M38A1s. 
Uh, I'm undoing it here. You can see it's just like on a CJ5. You undo the, the strap in the back. And that's that. I'm probably also saying something about thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff too. I'm not sure what I'm saying here. So, again, I made the pipe going from the cab up to the factory uh, soft top bows. And you can see, just like on a regular CJ, you pull the top off, it just comes right out. Uh, I've tried newer CJ7 soft uh, bikini tops. They don't fit in the channel. That's why I said the earliest CJ5 you can find before set, before they did the model change or the, the design change in 71 or 73. All right. There are two bolts on each side of the cab that hold the factory soft top frame and... I use those on my homemade bracket there. I think I'm getting tools out right now. Now, I like my setup because as you saw, the top comes off super easy. And if you just undo the back of the top, you can lay the windshield down with the top wadded up under the windshield and it works really well. Now, one of the the places where the bolts goes into on my truck was stripped out when I got it. So I actually had to put a bolt and a nut in there. And that's what I'm undoing right now. And when I welded the spot weld holes up, or rivet holes up with my spot welding, with a torch, by the way, it caused a little bit of warpage. Uh, I ground down the outside but not the inside and that made it kind of a tight fit in there but I made my piece fit alright those are the, the stock soft top bows hanging from the other side right there that I'm pulling off right now I tried making my own but they didn't turn out too good there is a bow in the middle. There's a, there's the almost 90 degree sides and there's a slight bow in the middle. You have to replicate that bow right, otherwise it just doesn't work. They'll come off. There's tension on it the whole time when it's when you're driving down the road with a bikini top. And bikini tops act like an airfoil, they try to fly. So you have to tie it down to the truck. Don't tie it to the bows because it will pull them off and they'll come down on your head. I found that out the hard way. Alright, pulling the other side off. Yeah, I did this whole video talking about it, how the bikini top, the factory soft top, uh, cargo canvas cover, cab canvas cover, and then my hard top and the microphone was off. Now, what I did years and years ago when I pulled my top off was I welded a piece of half-inch steel rod to the top of it and then got a Harbor Freight cheapo overhead winch, 110-volt power winch, put that in the ceiling of my shop, and for the last 20 years, this is what I do every spring and fall. Because the hard top is so much better when it rains a bunch. And presto changeo, the hard top is now installed. If you do this, always pull your bracket off, or you pull your, your cable off the bracket, because if you bolt the top down and try driving off, the winch will still follow you. It put a big old dent in my top. In fact, that's why the window is cracked. If you can see the crack in my window, because the winch hit it. And I learned that from experience, too. So, now I just got bolted in. And like all military vehicles, anything you do, it's like playing on a jungle gym. You have to be able to crawl and climb and jump and stretch and get in weird contoured positions. So, military vehicles are a workout program all by themselves. And I still have what's left of the factory weather stripping, which isn't very good because it still gets rain inside. But it's better than nothing. 
we were driving this one time in freezing rain and the person in the, the seat upwind had to have a coat on. Heater blast and full blast, the person downwind was comfortable without a coat. Going into a headwind when it's freezing, drizzle, or rain, and everyone's cold. So I'm just bolting in the uh, the factory soft top frame, which supports the hard top in my case. Now, the reason I stopped the video in a few seconds is I had forgotten to pull the bolt out of the middle of the windshield frame that keeps the thing from making a big old smile going down the road. And once I get this one bolted in and tightened up, I think I go to the other side, I realize my mistake and I like, oh. So I had to hook the winch back up, pull this bolt I just did. Yep, I'm pointing it out. I just realized what I did. So I pull this bolt out, hook the winch back up, pick it up a few inches, pull that bolt out, and then bolt it back in again. The back is just put those bolts in there. So anyway, factory soft top, factory, our factory soft top frame with a hard top on it, my bikini cap, uh, cap top mount. You can use the factory soft top frame to put a bikini top on. It would work just fine. I don't like it because I hit my head on that stupid thing, get in and out all the time, and that really hurts. It like shortens your neck. Uh, I like the wide open top part. If I have home V seats in mine, so my I sit a little bit higher than the stock seats. But anyway, however you want to do it. You want to put a bikini top on? The earliest CJ5 from the 50s or early 60s top you can find will fit on just fine. Oh, I'm talking about the factory hard tops are flat. They don't go up like this, this top does. The factory hard tops are flat and rounded. And they're two piece. There's a the bottom part, the back wrap around, and then the top. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.